European farmers are worried some genetically modified potatoes are going to contaminate their crops. For the first time in a dozen years, the European Commission has approved such a product, and this might mean more approvals of GM crops ahead. Chris Burns has more from Belgium. In the potato-growing heartland outside Brussels, the anger rumbles like spuds in the sorting machines. Farmers here don't want anything to do with the European Union decision to allow a high-performing genetically modified potato called Amflora for use in paper, adhesives and textiles. It's heavy in starch, so if it's not for food, what's the worry? Farmers are concerned that they don't want their products, which are good products, to be associated with an eventual risk. Belgians are especially sensitive that GM potatoes could wind up in cattle feed and all the way up the food chain. Belgians say they don't want one of their national symbols to become the latest Frankenfood. But when you can't tell the difference between GM and non-GM potatoes, how do you keep them separate? Easy, says the chemical giant that created the GM potato. Just keep the crops separate, and the potential benefits are enormous. For the whole value chain, from uh, producers, uh, cultivators, and BSF, the whole value is um, something between 200 and 300 millions a year. Worldwide, GM crops grow on 125 million hectares. Half of that in the U.S., mostly maize and soybeans. And other big producers are Argentina, Brazil, Canada, India, China, and South Africa. In GM-resistant Europe, there's only 100,000 hectares of maize. There are plenty of opponents, especially in France, which already banned the cultivation of Monsanto's GM maize two years ago. We do not want France to apply this authorization, and we're asking for a moratorium on the question. Greenpeace has no doubt about where it stands. It says there's a health risk. The danger of the antibiotic-resistant BSF potato is to increase bacterial resistance to very high, highly important uh, drugs and, 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 and medicines. BASF denies the risk and says it has more GM crops in the pipeline as the rumblings of its opponents intensify. Chris Burns, Bloomberg News, Brussels.